Hey, Sansers, Anthony and Rose. We've got some cool nightclub two-step for you guys today. We've been getting a lot of requests for nightclub two-step, and this is a cool but easy novice level nightclub pattern. You guys will like this one a lot, so stick around. Every time we touch, I feel at home. There's no way I ever let you go. When you put your hands in mine, I know gonna be alright. All right, guys, in case you don't know, Nightclub Two Step and Two Step are two completely separate dances. Okay. Nightclub Two Step is a slow dance. If you're familiar with Nightclub, you're gonna like this one. But if you are brand new to this channel, we post all of the country dances. Nightclub Two Step, but we post country Two Step and West Coast Swing and Waltz and all that stuff. But you're gonna notice this little button down here and it says subscribe. But if you click that button, then you become a next dancer and you'll know when all the awesome stuff happens here on the channel. So we're gonna demonstrate the pattern and then we're gonna break it down. Every time we touch, I feel at home. All right, guys, let's break this down one piece at a time. Now, the one thing we want to say, if you were looking for country two-step, this is not your spot. Get out of here. This is a slow dance. We've said that before. But if you want to know the basics of nightclub, there's a link right here. You can learn the basic steps. So we're going to kind of briefly go through the basic, but continue on from there. So as with all nightclub two-step patterns, we're actually going to start with the leader moving to the right, the followers moving to the left. So we're going to do the first half of basic for slow, quick, quick. Now we're gonna lead her across her body, stepping in between her feet and bringing that hand up. This is the beginning of her rotation. Now she's gonna to continue to move down that line as I work my way around her for quick, quick. And then at that point, I'm gonna take a step and do a spiral to go underneath. I'm gonna leave that hand up and make sure my body remains open. So we have slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. Okay, now notice my weight is still on my right foot. Let me show you that close up. Leader footwork goes slow, quick, quick. Then there's gonna be a quarter of a turn as we step in between her feet for slow. Now we're gonna be walking for quick, quick. We're gonna take another step forward with that right foot, but as soon as our weight gets on it, we're gonna turn all the way around as a spiral. My weight is still on my right foot. So we have slow, quick, quick. Between her legs, bringing the hand up for slow. We're walking it out for quick, quick. Now she's going to continue to rotate till she's facing down this direction as I take a step and spiral. Now her weight is on the back foot. So you notice my weight is back on my right. My left foot is pointed forward. But the thing I mentioned earlier is that my shoulders need to be slightly open. And so same you, with the followers as well. Yeah. So we don't want to over rotate. People have a tendency of like they turn and they say, hey you and they turn towards their partner and we actually don't want that. So if you look at that from this direction, when we're open, our shoulders kind of create kind of like a flying V shape, okay? So if we watch that from this, this side right here, we're gonna go slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. And now at this point, we're actually open with our bodies, okay? So that actually is pretty important. Now, the cool thing about this pattern is it keeps that constant slow, quick, quick throughout the entire pattern. It's not gonna change at all, okay? Now, uh, Nightclub Two-Step is a smooth dance, so it's in the same category as waltz or if you do ballroom like Foxtrot and Tango and everything, it is not a rhythm dance. So everything is uh, legato. So I mean, it's as fluid and smooth as possible. So we have slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. Now our bodies are open. So we've created that V-shape. Now we're just gonna walk forward for quick, quick, slow, keeping that position. We're both walking in that straight line. Now from here, leaders, you're gonna lead her to do a pivot turn. So we're gonna go quick, quick, and then we're gonna face each other for slow. And that is the first step of a basic. So if we watch that from this side, we're stepping slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, spiral, walk, 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 pivot, pivot, side step, okay? So at that point, we should be pretty much facing each other. Um, I do like to do pivots on those rather than chenets, for those of you who know the difference between those things. Just because being a smooth dance, we want that to actually cover ground. So one of the things about a smooth dance is we want to like take up a lot of space. Okay? Big. So now if you're dancing in a, on a tight dance floor and there's not a lot of space, obviously, you know, use your best judgment. But from a ultimate standpoint, we want that to take up as much space as possible and really have those movements actually continuing to travel in that direction. 
So once we've gotten that to position, we're just like right back to a basic. We're not doing much of anything else other than just whatever we want to do next, okay? All right, guys, let's talk about dance frame and what it is. A lot of people get this confused. They confuse right. dance frame with dance position, completely different ideas. We want you to think of dance frame. Uh, we'll give you an analogy. Dance frame is like the frame of this building we're standing in. It is not the frame of a picture, okay? A picture, the frame actually accents what's inside and makes it look better. And a dance frame can actually do that too, but it's not the function, it's not the purpose. The dance frame is more uh, similar to the frame of this building where it's the consistent solid structure that all the weight and all of the things are supported by. Okay, let me show you how that works in this pattern. So if we're in this position, we're getting ready to lead that free spin. One mistake that people will make is they'll take that arm and they'll actually move it inwards. And if you look, my dance frame, which goes through here, actually bends and molds and breaks, okay? We don't actually wanna take the hand here and lead the arm. If we think of dance frame as going from her elbow to her other elbow, this is her dance frame. My dance frame goes from this elbow to that elbow. All I've gotta do is, is if I keep this solid, I just have to rotate my dance frame. She's attached to it. So, and when I lead that free spin, all I've gotta do is rotate my own frame and when I rotate my own frame, she stays attached to it that right. way. I don't actually have to do all this stuff where I do the arm, these J hooks and all this weird stuff that people do. Right. And followers have to have their frame as well um, in a good position because if you're loose there, you don't have frame and you're broken frame, you're actually not gonna feel that leader. It's gonna take a lot longer. Right, consistency is what we want. We want it to feel consistent and the same. That doesn't mean stiff and hard. We don't yeah. want it too solid to where it just feels no stiff. A it's rock. a little bit elastic, but it's consistently, it'll kind of, kind of stretches back back to the same spot. So when we lead that, all I'm doing is rotating my body, keeping this consistent, and then she's gonna follow that because she's attached to it. All right guys, so we have slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. Now watch this, quick, quick, slow. When I go to do the turn, I'm not doing anything with my arm. I'm literally just turning my frame. She stays attached to it and then we come back to face each other. Now, frame goes in uh, lots of different places. It is not just in this spot. Like, you're gonna have frame throughout. Like, followers, you're gonna have frame when you're being turned. Mm -hmm. Like, when That's the hand it. comes yeah. up, this becomes your frame. So if I'm turning not just in this dance, but anything, you keep that pretty consistent. And again, like what I said earlier, was don't keep it solid like it's stiff because like you're just gonna end up feeling like you're 400 pounds whenever he turns you, okay? You don't wanna feel heavy, you wanna feel like, it's right. loose here. And the farther it gets away from that, it's like it's elastic in either direction. So if her hand is up, it's pretty loose through here, it doesn't feel heavy. But the farther this gets away from there, it starts to tighten up kind of elastic in either direction, all right? So when we lead that turn, she has to have frame. Now this is a smooth dance again, so the frame is going to be bigger and wider and more full than a, a, like a two-step or a Wesco swing. But when we dance this, we bring that hand up. And now at this point, this becomes her frame. So I've got to turn a big circle around her head. She keeps that solid and I slip underneath, okay? So frame happens throughout. Even when you're dance position, like if we were to do something that's like, I don't know, whatever dance, or we're here in closed position and we switch to promenade, this is a broken frame. If you watch how our, our shoulders actually turn, a promenade should actually rotate with her, not away from her, okay? So we keep that piece solid. If you get anything from this lesson today, not just a really, really cool nightclub two-step pattern, frame yeah. is the frame of a building, not the frame of a picture. It's not just pretty, it also is pretty, but it actually makes things work a lot better. So what I wanna be able to do is I wanna be able to move myself and her stay attached to me and feel my movements without me having to do all this stuff, all right? So we have slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, and quick, quick, slow, picking her back up, and then we're doing whatever. One more time that we wanna use dance frame, just going down this dance frame uh, route, is that I'm actually gonna lead her across my body in that very beginning with my dance frame and not my arms. So if you watch this in the very, very beginning, we have slow, quick, quick. Now she comes across me, not because I pull and push with the arms, but because I simply rotate my own dance frame and that puts her in that spot. So if you watch that again, all I'm doing is rotating my upper body. We have slow, quick, quick. I rotate my body and I allow her to finish that through. Quick, quick, slow, rotate my frame and she goes back into my arms. <laughs>
<laughs> so nightclub, guys, it is a beautiful dance. It should feel smooth. It shouldn't yeah. feel jerky. It shouldn't feel all this other stuff. It's very, very different than Country Two Step. It is one of our favorite dances. Uh, sure. If you guys would like to see more nightclub here, comment down below. We want to know, would you like to see more nightclub? Would you like to not like to see more nightclub? But just comment down below and let watch. us know. So, you guys, we're going to demonstrate this a few times in music, and then we'll see you guys next time. Every time we touch, I feel at home. That's the way I never let you go. When you put your hands in mine, I know going to be all right. I don't know what you do to me, but I... Guys, if you have not done so... Hey, it's Sanchez Anthony Rose. We got some cool nightclub two-step for you guys yes. today. We've been getting a lot of quests for this dance. What is a lot of quests? A lot of quests, chips. I thought you were quest cookies. It's an adventure. It's a quest. I'm on a quest for nightclub. <laughs> All right, guys. In case you don't know. That's a word. Right. You grew up with my muscles. Yeah, I was. <laughs>